Okay, in this uh, video segment, I'm doing the uh, first problem on the midterm. Uh, this is for one, one of the paper. I'll do the other one later on. Uh, the problem was designed so that uh, anybody who knows the basics uh, and has done the, the tutorials themselves or uh, paid attention, I, you know, I don't know, should have got 25, uh, 25 marks. There was absolutely no excuse. Okay. So let's uh, move on. Uh, so let's start with the product uh, uh, product file. Insert existing components in there, and these are the existing components. All right, you can create the joints. Uh, directly or using magic wand and assembly constraints, some of them can be found. For example, this is there's going to be a revolute here, a revolute here, and this has to be a slight curve. Uh, one or two people did a point curve, that, that, that's fine too. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, move these apart, move these apart so that we can uh, see better what's going on. There we are. And then uh, I'll anchor the wall. And coincidence, you know, the axis of this uh, pin and the axis of that hole, and coincidence, the face of the the wall and the back face of the uh, the wheel, and update. Okay, uh, coincidence between the axis of the pin and the axis of the hole, and coincidence between the face of the rod and the face of the pin, and update. Now, in order to create a slight curve joint between this circle, the orange one, and that line, uh, these two must be touching each other. And there are different ways of doing it, what I did in class in, the, in, in a couple of problems, remember the sliding Latin problem, uh, was to use the contact in order to put these things together. Coincident, uh, contact between uh, this face and that face. And if in, external doesn't work, try internal. So let's see. It does, okay? If, if you did internal, that would not look the way you want it, so you switch it to external and it will work fine. Okay, so let's save here. File, save management. Save as, uh, your product one is fine. We now go to the digital mockup. DMU kinematics. Get the magic wand out. Where is the magic wand? Uh, right there. A new mechanism. Mechanism one, auto create. And okay, there should be two revolute joints uh, uh, created. All right, good. Now, uh, we need to create a slight curve joint, slight curve joint between this circle and that line or the other line. If these were not touching, you would not be able to do that. Notice that the degree of freedom is one. And for example, we can make this revolute joint angle driven while and the wheel angle driven, angle driven going between 0 and 360. Of course, it says mechanism can be simulated and you can try it yourself. Right there, so that works. And now we're going to create, because you want to eventually plot a couple of things, you want to plot the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, velocity of this point versus time and velocity of this point versus the acceleration of this point is a magnitude, okay? Uh, we need to create a sensor here. So use the ball rolling down a ramp. So the, the, uh, the reference product is the wall. The point, the point to be plotted is this corner point right there. All right. And now we're going to do simulation with laws. Well, first let's make a cartoon because I want to plot the, 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 the trace. We want to, I want to plot the trace. So uh, uh, let's make a simulation first here. Mechanism number one. 
Okay, so uh, insert, rewind, anything but one, and let's uh, play it continuously. It's just making a cartoon. All right. And the reason we have to make a simulation because we need to compile it. That's the only way you can plot the trace, you can create the trace. All right. So let's uh, rewind and OK. Notice that the simulation has been created here. And now you're going to do a compile. And uh, we would like uh, anything but one. You compile. All right. And then uh, trace. So uh, there's the trace. You click on it. It says. Uh, let's see now, elements to trace out, so it's this point, and uh, well, I use a reasonable number of points so that you can actually a curve, and then say OK. This is going to be created as a new part right there, and if you want to bring this thing in, and you have to bring it in, that's what the problem says, so first you're going to save this, file, save management, there is the trace, save as, just give it the same name, trace is good, okay, and then uh, I can uh, go in the background, here's my product, so insert existing component in there, and of course the trace, I want to bring it here, there we are. Okay, so actually you can see that if you play the replay, that point uh, uh, point A stays on the, on that on that curve there. Very good. Now the next thing that we want to do is to uh, do a simulation with loss. So uh, uh, simulation with loss. So uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Uh, there is simulation with law. Did I create a sensor here? Yeah, I think I already created the sensor. That, that's fine. okay. Uh, simulation with laws. A total duration of. Uh, I'm sorry. First, you have to go and specify the formula, obviously. Before, so go to f of x. Uh, there is a mechanism. Add a formula. Okay. Equal to if it's 120 uh, RPM, it's two round per second, so 720 uh, degrees times or divided by 1s to make it non-dimensional times time. Okay, uh, there's the formula. And now we go do simulation with laws. Uh, total duration two seconds, you were asked to do it over two second period and then activate sensor. Let me get first the plot of, uh, uh, the plot of uh, uh, linear speed, which means the magnitude of the speed versus time. Okay, so there it is, we activate that, it says yes, and then we play it. And then we graph it. There we are. Now, you were supposed to do a print screen, save this, and put it in your uh, in your file. So I'm not going to do that, but uh, you know what to save it. In order to capture this, you need to print screen and save it as a file or put it uh, as a uh, copy paste on a Word document. Now let me rewind because the next thing you were supposed to do is to get a plot of magnitude of the speed versus of the mag uh, versus the magnitude of the acceleration. So this is already checked. And uh, then we want linear acceleration, okay? Uh, rewind, it's already round, clear all the history. And ask for, uh, click on the options, ask for a customized plot, add. These were done 
in the class. Go to the ellipse generating mechanism, and we, we did actually this thing twice. So uh, we want the, uh, this, the linear speed versus linear acceleration. When it doesn't tell you anything about uh, any specific component, that means the magnitude. You say OK, and you close this, and you play it. And then graph it. There we are. This is the plot of speed versus acceleration in the proper unit. Proper unit means, well, I said it was going to be inch per second squared and inch per second. Uh, this takes care of uh, 25 marks. Now, I do realize that. It took me, I don't know, uh, maybe uh, 20, uh, 15 minutes, actually. Well, you should take longer, and uh, you had a lot more time, two, two and a half hours. Now I'll do the one for the other group, all right?